ओके सर वानी जस्ट ब्रीफ अबाउट योर सेल्फ गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन यस गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज सर वानी आई एम फ्रॉम तेनाली आंध्र प्रदेश आई एम रिसेंटली क्वालिफाइड कॉस्ट एंड मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट and i secured all india fourth rank in the final examinations coming to my education all the primary education has been completed in tanali itself and uh, coming to my work exposure i had worked with multiple organizations wherein uh, i have done works in dt idt and costing okay coming about- to my family background we are a family of three me my mom and dad okay just explain in detail about your articleship experience and learnings okay in my articleship i have learned about uh, gst registration filing bank reconciliation and income tax return filing and uh, also raising refund reissue request for the clients and also submitted responses to the it notices okay so if any person wants to fill return under by opting section 44 ad so which uh, return will be filed by that assc uh, sir so the form we have to select is itr 4 itr 4 okay who is eligible for section 44 ad who can avail so if he is sir if uh, a person or a business firm sorry if an individual is having a business income and his turnover is up to 2 crores he can opt for that and uh, in the recent amendment of the finance act 2023 the limit has been increased to 3 crores for so all assessees can opt for 8 percent taxation so for all assessees it is being increased to 3 crore no so actually uh, if the cash receipts is less than 5 percent then the limit has been increased to 3 crore and uh, for the professions the limit has been increased to sorry sir i couldn't i'm not able to recollect but earlier it was 50 lakhs but the limit has been increased now okay okay yes ma'am okay sir vani you have done your bachelor of commerce from acharya nagarjun university yes, yes ma'am do you know anything about acharya nagarjun who was acharya nagarjun Uh, sorry ma'am uh, i have done my distance education and i'm not aware of that uh, actually what happened was for the first two years i have done in a regular college since the third year it was clashing uh, with the articleship i have took distance education from them okay so your bachelor degree is not regular no ma'am it is distance one actually first two years it's regular and for the third year is it's done in distance mode okay So Sarvani why do you want to work for our company uh, your core values align with my personal beliefs so how are those alignment uh, because you work on sustainability and i also believe in sustainability and uh, live and let live philosophy okay suppose we are uh, hiring on behalf of vedanta limited so how will you answer that question okay sorry so okay okay so uh, in achievements and extra curricular activities you mentioned that recovered over 25 lakh in income tax refunds so how you recovered yes, that amount actually there were many clients uh, the thing when i joined the office i have seen that earlier it used to be case that for the client login we used to give the office address as email id so uh, there will be a, a processing of intimation letter 1431 which was never open in the office when i joined the office i opened all the mails and checked that and uh, there are several cases of uh, refund cases which had been failed and uh, by contacting with the clients i updated the bank details and made the recovery okay so by updating bank account details you have recovered 25 lakh rupees right yes sir it's for all the clients okay and you also mentioned that recovered 30 lakh in outstanding client receivable so how you did that 
uh, this was also the case in the beginning of, of the office wherein uh, everyone is doing the work raising the bills but no one is following up the receivables so some of the clients were not even aware that the bill has been raised against them so uh, i made sure that who are the person is working they make sure with the client that uh, they let them know what are the outstanding receivables is and in such way i made those recoveries by following up okay what is debtor turnover ratio debtor turnover ratio sorry sir i am not able to recollect it right now okay is there any, any difference between zero rated supply and exempted supply yes ma'am exempted supply the rate itself is not mentioned in the act whereas in zero rated supply the rate mentioned is zero is the only difference between these supply like exempted can you avail itc on exempted supply no ma'am we are actually supposed to reverse it okay as i have done in krishna industries it's a pulses processing unit wherein the uh, pulses are exempted so the, the input on the gunny bags we used to get i used to do the reversal while filing gst return okay how many rates are there in gst it's uh, five rates okay which one Name the rates. Three, five, twelve, eighteen. Three percent is there. Yes, ma'am. It's there for gold shops. Okay. Uh, you did so many stock verification as well. So, what is the process yes, of doing stock verification? so in the pulses processing unit it used to work for 24 hours so there will be change of shifts daily so once in a week uh, we are supposed to verify it with the physical quantity and the process quantity so that there is no theft of the stock okay how you used to verify and how you used to extract the data so we used to verify it manually so okay like a uh, calculating uh, counting the gunny bags and all okay Make how sure we can uh, do mm -hmm. manual verification of pulses it's like uh, there will be already stock packed in the gunny bags so we'll set it aside after counting each gunny bag in that way we used to verify the stock okay and how will you get the uh, quantity which is uh, in the system that after processing uh, will have a rough estimation of that as uh, if the input is 100 kg the output used to be between uh, 78 to 85 i asked that like how how you used to get the data that uh, suppose you found 100 kg of pulses so how will you verify that whether it is correct or not based on the weight bridge calculation sir once the raw material is kept in We used to get the average readings. From How that, you used to extract the system data? How you used to get the data from the system? How we can get the data of stock from the system? So there is no such thing like that. There, everything is operated and manually. Then, from which data you used to verify? Uh, you used to match your stock. Based on the rough calculation itself, sir. Suppose you are having hundred kgs of pulses. so yes. whether it is uh, more or less from which number you will vary, uh, match it the invoice that we get okay invoice you were manufacturing then why you used to get invoice because manufacturing so pulses it's not the manufacturing it's the agriculture produce we get it contains has mud and all so we used to take a sampling from that and estimate the rough quantity and we used to pay the creditors now okay. once it had been into the process the output we used to verify it based on the rough estimate because the standard is like more than 75% we have to calculate so okay. in such way we used to calculate the stock okay what is material yield variance so 
what is material yield variance i asked it is the difference between standard quantity and actual quantity multiplied by standard price okay what it denotes it denotes uh, how much is suppose it comparison with the actual yield and with the standard yield we are supposed to get okay yes ma'am sarvani you have mentioned in skill skill that you have sap basic level knowledge so how many module are there yes, ma'am there in sap there are many modules uh, sap while doing audit of the companies in the beginning of my work experience i just gone through it it's not like i had a work experience on sap so you have not the park and post the entry in the sap oh yeah i have that idea like first it should be parked and then someone else should authorize and post it okay you have worked in ml rao and associated firms so you have mentioned that assisted with foreign donation reporting to ministry of home affairs so why yes, do, why you, your firm is doing this that assistant to ministry of home affairs actually this reporting is applicable for societies and trusts since it's a chartered accountant firm and uh, he is our client oh, we are uh, no fc or foreign fc it's just a statement that we have to file intimating the mha that uh, so once the amount is received from so once so person so it is it, it is covered under the foreign contribution regulation act that's why you are doing that assistance yeah yes yes it's under fcr okay uh, sarvani and at nagendra and company you did payroll processing of 54 employees so yes, what was the uh, deduction you used to make from this Uh, for the employees we used to do 192 section and uh, there are also some employees who are giving professional services to the firm and for them we used to deduct under section 194j for employees you used to deduct tds under section 194j no so 192 there are some other employees from they are not considered to be employees but they will be in the firm from whom we take the professional guidance so okay. they are not technically employees so these two sections were used 194 so what is sorry, the provision of section 194j 194j if you are paying uh, professionals an amount of 30000 or more we are supposed to deduct 2% for professionals and for others it's 10% 2% for professional are you sure For others, ten percent. For professional, two percent. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. What is Section one ninety four C? Section one ninety four says that uh, it's payment to contractors. If the pay, so if the amount paid is in single payment thirty thousand, or if in aggregate crosses one lakh, then the amount of deduction will be one percent for the individual. And two percent for the companies. Okay. In case of partnership firm, what will be the percentage? If for the payment of. Uh, hmm? If pay is a partnership firm, then what will be the rate of TDS? The same rate of TDS, so one percent and one percent. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. so uh, you have mentioned uh, here strengths what are the weaknesses mm. you have sarvani uh, my areas to improve would be speaking in english and uh, public speaking skills as uh, since past 5 uh, years i had been working in local i'm not very much keen about talking in english as uh, everything communication will be in local language and after schooling i didn't get much of opportunities to address people at large so uh, i tried my level best to interact with people more in ppop okay yes okay. that's it sir okay thank you very much sarvani let discuss about the feedback part
so talking about the questions and communication wise you were good and you were able to communicate properly but when we talk about the uh, technical part so you were not that much good you need to brush up upon the technical part i asked you about the uh, stock verification as well so how you used to get the data so you were not able to answer it clearly mm -hmm. that you used to get it from the tally or sap how you used to extract the data so you need to brush up about that things as well that you have mentioned lots of works over here so how you used to get the data what was the processing of that that such work so you should have proper knowledge about that works and apart from that i asked you about the data turnover ratio so you were not able to answer that so work upon that 194J okay. is the 10% for all the professionals, 2% in case of call centers. So your answer were wrong in that case as well. And 194C okay. in case of partnership firm, it will be 2%. You said 1%. For individual HUF, it is 1%. For other SECs, it is 2%. Okay. And ma'am mm -hmm. asked you about the Acharya Nagarjuna University. You said that you did it from the distance. That is not the correct or accurate answer. If you are doing anything from distance, then it, that means you do, don't know about the name or anything background of the university. So it does not justify the point in that case. Okay, so, so mainly you need to work upon the technical part from my side. Yes. Okay. And I have asked about SAP basic level. So you need to study about the module and park and post system of the SAP. And you are okay. not able to tell about the GST rates. You are not telling that 12% are there, 28% are there. And another mm -hmm. that you have not clearly mentioned difference between zero rated supply and exempted supply. So you have to work on your technical part and the HR part is good as well. So uh, till now, in which company you have been shortlisted? Uh, Vedanta and ITC Hotels, Essential and uh, TVS as well. Okay. Any PSU? No, no, sir. So uh, still shortlisting is pending or it is being circulated or issued? No, so, sir. It's, all, it's finalized and NL like it's went back. Okay. NLC is not coming to Chennai. Okay, okay. So you should focus on Vedanta package wise, or you can focus on ITC and TVS as well. Essential should be your okay. last priority. Hmm. Essential is on the last day. Yeah. ITC hotels and Vedanta is tomorrow. Most probably you will be get selected into Vedanta. And tomorrow you will call me and you will say that, sir, I got selected in Vedanta. <laughs> I too wish to tell that, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. All the very best. Thank you, sir. Bye.